good enough. Cool. Uh, hey, thank, hey, thanks very much. Um, those are awesome talks, and I, I kind of want to follow up with another uh, OBF um, uh, event that we do that happened just two days ago, so finished up yesterday um, right here in Prague uh, called Code Fest. Um, and if you're interested in this, there's the, uh, the link at the bottom has all the details that I'm sort of going to present here. Uh, as well as the slides and everything else. Um, so let me tell you. Let me tell you what CodeFest is. It's a two-day uh, collaborative work session uh, right before a Bioinformatics, uh, Bioinformatics Open Source Conference, or before or after next year. Um, it'll be. Uh, and we had 60 plus people there this year. It was an amazing turnout. Um, uh, and the goals of it are, are really sort of. Uh, to learn and train people, bring them into the community, to build relationships amongst people that are already in the community. Um, and then it's CodeFest, right? So hopefully some writing of some code will get done and things will get built, um, much of which you'll hear about today. Um, and I'd like to emphasize that everyone is welcome, um, no matter your experience or relationship to the OBF community or anything, you can, you're welcome to come. Um, and this is the eighth year we've done it. So uh, we people seem to like it and keep coming. So that, that's awesome. Um, and Practically, it works. It's uh, completely free. You just put your name on a Google uh, spreadsheet, and then you say you're coming, and uh, and hopefully you show up, and uh, and we do it. Um, what we try to do is give you at least wireless and power and some space, so if it rains, you don't get wet, and uh, coffee and food, so you can keep going all day, and collect a bunch of open source collaborators um, together, and then. What we do is is self-organize around projects of interest. So it's a little different, I guess, than, than some other, if you've been to like a hackathon event or something where there's a goal. Uh, there's no goal except for to work together. And so people decide what their goal is. Um, and the idea is to make useful code, so stuff that we can talk about here that we can give to people. Um, and also motivation, right? It's awesome to work with people that you're friends with and uh, that you become friends with and uh, keeps you going all year long. Um, so that, that's, that's another thing. And then at the end, report on the accomplishments uh, that we've done. And so before I get into what we've done, um, I'd like to give a big thank you to BRM Lab, which is a hackerspace here in Prague that hosted us and uh, was completely cool. Like, um, it was an awesome space, and I would literally just asked them if they could, I could use it, and they were like, sure, then no, no problems, right? And so it was uh, super, super helpful. And uh, I'd like to thank Matouche, um, who, as you can tell uh, by, uh, if you've seen any street signs around here, is, uh, is Czech and uh, fully Unicode aware um, in, uh, in, uh, in the Czech Republic um, is local and it was a huge help to organize local things. Even though he's not local, he was able to help organize all kinds of food and um, everything, which was which is really challenging and super helpful for me because I've never been to Prague before and uh, just showed up at midnight the day before. So um, he was he was ridiculously helpful doing all that. And Heather um, also helped us out um, with organizing and getting everything together. Um, it's just great to have so many people helping out. And uh, I'd like to thank Repositive and, and Seven Bridges who gave us money so we had food and coffee and uh, made that possible. And uh, also, the uh, we didn't, we had, getting coffee is very difficult here, apparently. They don't just want to give you coffee. And so uh, the Institute for Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry gave us some coffee urns we could use to actually bring coffee to the uh, location, and that was super helpful. Um, and obviously, thank you to the community who showed up, or uh, it would be a pretty terrible event if it was just me. Um, <laughs> And so before I get into sort of what uh, the specifics, I want to just talk about like some broad themes I think that happened at the CodeFest. I think the first is um, is getting new contributors to the community. That's really one of the goals is to people to come who haven't, haven't worked before and they can be involved with people that they that they might know from online or that they don't know and just want to learn from. Um, and so we, I think we had a lot of that at this year's CodeFest, which is awesome. Um, and a component of that is really sort of developing autonomy. Um, there's no top-down structure in CodeFest. It's literally like work what you want. If you want to go and sleep the whole time or surf the internet, that's cool. I don't care. Um, no one cares. Uh, but most people come because they, they come to Prague and, and sit in a, in a hackerspace because they want to work with people. And so they do that. And uh, it gives people sort of the, the freedom to explore things that they want to do. Um, and I think what, what sort of happens from that is people start to work together. And we've seen a lot. I think we'll see a lot of this in the talks. But um, there's a lot of sort of last mile development where you know, things in principle could work together, but uh, you know, the last part of the code that actually makes that work is not done. And um, over a couple of days, you can get a lot of that done and make things actually work together. And that all sort of speaks to sort of having standards and coordinating. The hardest thing about doing work is coordinating the people, right? And this is what this tries to do. And I think the last thing that you'll see a lot of in this is, is sort of the ability to fix things that have been sort of sitting around that people never had time for. This is two dedicated days to work. Um, so you get to fix a lot of problems that you're like, I wish I would have fixed that that earlier. Um, so now I'll go through really quickly all the different things. Everyone, uh, these slides are totally community sourced, so everyone made their own slides from the different projects. And um, 
that's awesome. There's so much information. There's zero way I can, I'm, we're already behind and I'm, I'm never going to get through it all. So uh, what I'll do is just sort of highlight some of the things. And uh, these slides are all available. And I hope you'll dig into them and see all the, the details about what people worked on because it's re really great progress. So I'll, go, I'll step through these all real quick. Um, Multi-QC uh, was well represented there. Uh, Phil's going to talk on this later, so you'll learn all about it. It's a, it's a quality control tool. But they, they had a lot of new modules, um, had this ridiculous number of pull requests added and merged, and, and, uh, and, um, the, it real, and integration with other tools and um, making the software better. Uh, really great work and a lot of new contributors to that project. Um, so it's a, actually a really good example of a project where people can sort of get in and start digging around. Um, the Bio that Python community was there, along with other uh, Python things. Um, and did a ton of work on fixing bugs, um, sort of what I mentioned earlier, and uh, you know, working on sort of architecture and high-level discussion that's hard to do at a, in an in a email setting and much easier to do uh, together. And there was, a, there was a bunch of cool uh, picture work, uh, pictures that, nice pictures of, uh, on protein structures. Uh, they always have good pictures. So uh, um, one was integrating uh, the BioPython structural stuff with uh, NGL view. So now in your uh, Jupyter notebooks, if you like to have structural uh, um, structures in there, you can have that, which is which is super cool. And um, there was also the amazingly not taken name molecular query language was formed. Um, I was shocked that this does not, it's no one had stolen this before, but uh, it is is now taken and uh, describes like how you do in a in a reusable way how you describe queries on uh, on molecules. Uh, Nextflow, which I which I believe we're hearing about later, um, was there and did a, a bunch of work integrating with uh, Kubernetes um, and also GA4 GH standards, um, which we'll we'll hear a ton about um, and trying to like work on standards oper interoperability. And uh, this also sort of ties into work on trying to expand um, into different environments. And uh, there was work on trying to take uh, these workflows with uh, CWL and um, make them work together with Apache, Apache Spark. And so uh, the Atom folks were here. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to talk, but um, there was some awesome progress made on, on integrating with that. Um, and there was also um, a bunch of effort on uh, reproducible software development, so trying to have new ways of sort of easily deploying and um, and installing software. and. Um, I think uh, Peter is talking later on this uh, on new geeks and stuff, so I'll leave it that to him. And then the last sort of section is about uh, stuff on common workflow language, which we're going to hear a lot about in the next section. Um, but I'll, I'm going to go through some of the highlights. Um, there's a ton of work on provenance, um, uh, integrating with research objects, which is super cool that you can take a uh, workflow, run it, and now have this reusable way in order to describe what actually happened. Um, and so a lot of that last mile development sort of happened here. These two things existed in in worlds that should work together, and now they are starting to work together, uh, which is awesome. Um, another example of that is uh, work on singularity support in CWL. Um, I think we'll probably hear about Docker later, but singularity is the HPC-friendly version of Docker containers that you can run on your HPC. Um, and there was work on, on getting that going, uh, which is so much awesome. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that, that's that's really awesome to see that. Um, and then I think Rabbix, the uh, um, Seven Bridges folks are talking right after this, um, but they they did a ton of like important work around standards interoperability, um, the all these edge cases that make workflows not able to work together, uh, resolving those and getting out uh, new releases of all their tools, which they're going to talk about like immediately in in two minutes. Um, and uh, there's also work on Toil, um, which is another CWL runner that I think Brian might talk about um, in the next section. Uh, um, integrating some new new stuff into that, and I think you know the last sort of part about CWL um, is building up some sort of a standard way of, of querying this. Lots of people are using it now, and so there's a lot of interest and work on trying to develop uh, standard toolkits from different languages to talk to and generate CWL. And um, a lot of this work was sort of the important work of like trying things and seeing like they don't work, and trying another thing and seeing will this work. And there was a some great work uh, getting that together. Um, and I, you know, I think those are all projects, and that's awesome. And you're going to hear lots about them today. Um, the sort of awesome thing is that it's a community, right? So just people. You can see us in the basement here, uh, um, working and talking. And uh, it's um, that's really what this is about: is getting people together and working. And that's what you know, Bosque is about, also getting people together and learning um, from each other. So I hope that you'll join. Think about joining us um, this year. I know there's so many new people here. It's so awesome. Uh, we're having a uh, Birds of a Feather meet up at lunch today, so that's just a, a way to come if you're new to the community or if you're already in the community and want to meet new people, um, come. We'll have lunch together, talk. Uh, you can ask questions about any of this. Um, 
introduce each other, learn why we're here at Bosque, um, those kind of things. I, myself and Moni will be um, heading that up. So, uh, um, you know, definitely please come and uh, feel welcome. And if you're interested in any of this, please come to CodeFest next year. Um, uh, there will be a, a new organization, which I think will be a, a sort of structure, which I think will be awesome in that, like, it's going to be training before the conference. There will be the actual conference, and then CodeFest will be after. So if you feel nervous about coming to CodeFest, I don't know what the projects are. I don't know about anything. Come, sign up for everything. Come to the training. Learn what's going. Learn in detail about something that you care about. You know, go to the conference. Learn the broad things about the uh, um, about all the different projects and what's happening, and then come to CodeFest and work on it together as a, a you know, and get things done. Um, so I hope there will be even more people next year. We'll have multiple tracks and groups, and it's going to be awesome. Um, and so uh, everyone is very welcome. Um, feel please take this as your invitation to uh, to come. And uh, uh, I probably don't have time for questions because I'm two minutes behind, and I'm supposed to do the next session as well. So. Um, Please come see me at lunch. Um, that'll be this whole this thing. We go we power through now straight till lunch um, on the workflow section. So at lunchtime, come. We'll do the the open uh, the open uh, welcome to Bosque and um, other boffs and uh, come see me and ask questions then. So cool. I'll uh, I'll switch it right over to. I'm switching now. Now I'm a chair and uh, I will switch. <laughs>